In this video, I'm creating an art journal page inspired by Psalm 91. I'm focusing here on the image of birds covering their young with their wings. This is a very simple image which you can also try for yourself. I realize that many of my videos feature a lot of complicated, long processes that take many months and weeks for me. And today in this art journal page, I want to create something that's more simple. Here I'm using a knife with a blade which attaches to the tip. But if you don't have a knife like this or a cutting board, you can use scissors to cut out these designs. Or you can even draw a bird and a chick and cut it out for your own art journal page. So this image is a very simple one, a simple image of a mother with her chick. I've layered two pieces of paper under my drawing so that I'll end up with two images which I can use on my art journal page. So both the images of the bird will be facing each other. I, I painted a background some time ago in my art journal. So I have many different pages which I've already painted and I can use it. I can choose the colors that I want on the day I'm working on a project. And here I have some scrap paper which I'm going to shred with my hands to make into a nest. Psalm 91 is about the protection of God. And the reason I came up with the image of a bird and a chick is because those words are part of this scripture. It says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. In Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. The image of God sheltering us under his wings is a beautiful image. And that's why I thought about the birds with feathers and chicks under the feathers. I used colored paper, and these papers are also painted beforehand, and I just use up whatever paint. I see sometimes from my children's projects or sometimes I just paint um, used paper just to use in my projects. So this is how I have, uh, I always have paper, painted paper on hand. So I'm gluing the paper cuts onto painted backgrounds. So I get two birds with different colors. Some time ago, I was talking with my daughter who is away in college, and I was really happy that she wanted to talk to me. And she told me that she gets encouraged every time she talks to me. And usually she calls when she's down and when she needs some encouragement. And I was so happy to know that she finds comfort in talking to me. And that really blessed me as a mother. So often we feel like we need encouragement and we need comfort. We need security. And it's so nice to have somebody who can be a source of comfort to you. And it's also very nice to be that source of comfort to somebody else. So I felt so happy that my daughter found comfort in me. And I also feel very happy that there is a source of comfort that I can turn to, and that is the Lord himself. The need for protection and the need for encouragement and comfort is in every person. And I think to know God, to know his word and finding comfort in it is such a wonderful blessing. Sometimes we feel very depressed and anxious when we hear the news or when bad things are going on. But in the storms of life and in the difficult times, it's such a comfort and encouragement to know that God is our refuge, he is our strength, and he is the one that shelters us in his care, in his protection. And I praise God for the protection of the Holy Spirit. I praise God for sending his angels to watch over us at times when we feel so helpless and we feel alone. These are things I'm thinking about as I'm creating this page. And I created a branch out of a scrap paper to go across the page. And I'm going to have the birds resting in these branches. And it's so good to have a God who reassures us of his presence, who is always there for us, who always shelters us and guards us from all evil. 
It's so good to remember the promises in the Bible about God's protection, especially at times when we are in danger, when it seems like there's so many things happening in the world and we need a place of security. We need a place where we can feel safe, where we can feel peace. It's a wonderful thing to have the Word of God to reassure us. And sometimes when you just feel the danger, when you just feel like everyone around you is coming into danger and there's so much risk, there's so much uncertainty in the world, it's so helpful to remember the Word of God. And this is one of the things I do. I memorize scriptures that promise protection and peace and security. And instead of worrying about all the bad things that can happen, you can rehearse the Word of God and you can find comfort in the words that never change, that are always true, that is always, always going to do what it says it will do. If God says you will have refuge in Him, yes, it's true. We can cling to that. We can trust in it. We can hope in that word. I want to encourage you today to read the scriptures about the protection of God, about the comfort and the peace and the security that we find in God. And I will share some of those verses in the description box. And I really want to encourage you to meditate on the words that bring security and peace at a time when you are struggling or when you are lacking peace. This is one of the things that art journaling can do for you. That if you're worried, if you're anxious, if you're nervous, if you're tense about many things, you can take out your art journaling page. You can use your hands, move your hands and make something. And it is so calming. It is so relaxing. It takes your mind off the worry and also helps you to focus on the things that bring you peace and joy. For me, art does that. Art helps me to get my mind off worries and distractions, and especially if I have the theme that is based on the Word of God. I can meditate on the Word of God while I create. So thinking about the protection of God, thinking about how God guards and guides His people, this is always a great comfort. Even Jesus says how much He desires to draw His people as a hen gathers her chicks under its wings. It's a picture of complete safety. It's a picture of complete and total comfort and security. This is the place we have in God and in the Word of God. We can find many scriptures that promise this. We can abide under the shadow of the Almighty and we can find peace and rest in Him. I hope that you are encouraged today. Please share in the comments below if you want more art journals or if there are verses you would like to see me create in my art journal. Thank you for watching. May the Lord bless you.